It's tough to be productive in your daily activities when anxiety and worry are dominating your thoughts and distracting you from work, school, or your home life. This is where the strategy of postponing worrying can help rather than trying to stop or get rid of an anxious thought give yourself permission to have it but put off dwelling on it until later number one create a worry period paghimo og panahon sa kabalaka it should be the same every day depende sa imong oras and early enough that it won't make you anxious right before bedtime. During your worry period, you're allowed to worry about whatever on your mind. The rest of the day, however, is a worry-free zone. Number two, write down your worries. Isulat ang imong mga kabalaka. If an anxious thought or worry comes into your head during the day, Make a brief note of it and then continue about your day. Remind yourself that you'll have time to think about it later, so there's no need to worry about it right now. Also, writing down your thoughts on a pad or on your phone or computer is much harder work than simply thinking them, so your worries are more likely to lose their power. Number three, go over your worry list. So, siha ang imong listahan sa kabalaka, sa panahon sa kabalaka. If the thoughts you wrote down are still bothering you, allow yourself to worry about them. But only for the amount of time you've specified for your worry period. As you examine your worries in this way, you'll often find it easier to develop a more balanced perspective. And if your worries don't seem important anymore, simply cut your worry period short and enjoy the rest of your day. Defining anxiety as the reality that in the fallen world, there will be suffering in our future. In Hebrews 2, 7 to 9, to flesh out how we should address it, this passage clearly states that God is in full control of all things, but we do not see everything in subjection to Him. Embracing those two throats, the holding them in tension, is the key to rightly responding to anxiety in our lives.